Hi, you guys. I'm excited to give you a little bit of an update about my Juice Love Challenge 21 Day to a New Way of Being Challenge and, um, and what's going on. So I'm actively watching everything. I'm, I'm, and it's been very, very interesting. So I've had a couple of times, um, because what I'm starting to notice is, and, and I had talked about, maybe I talked about this, I don't know, but it all seems to be linked to events. It seems that the negativity in my life that comes up, that wells up, and, and seems to be linked to life events that were very traumatic for me. Um, loss, divorce, um, like losing people to passing away or losing people to divorce. Um, I've had some like traumatic events. And so, and then also like in these divorces, like consistently going back into poverty, like, like when I was with my, my husband, I was, you know, it was better. Um, and then being forced back into poverty. And I want to get back to that. It was better with my husband thing in just a second. Because <laughs> I really want to talk about that. But anyway, so what's ending up happening is I, I had my YouTubes are like this chronicle of a journey. They're a chronicle of a year journey where I was chronicling this event these events and I was chronicling them because what I had noticed was is that people generally speaking write their book after they write their book after their success or after their they overcame some huge obstacle and I was in it I was in I was in the obstacle and so <laughs> I, I thought it was significant to to make record of it and and so through through my, I had done um, YouTube's, like the first one that I did had to do with, I had lost a job, my husband, and I realized I had no support system. So I didn't, I was like, I didn't know what to do for my, I mean, it was, it was a wild time. It was a wild ride. But then on the other hand, it was also like the best time because I had this life changing event that I don't know if I want to get into right now. I really want to talk about about what is happening with my brain and my and my brain's like wanting to latch on to these events. Like like it's like even like the smallest thing. Like I had gone out on Saturday night, so I go out on Saturday night, and then somebody walks up to me that I know in town, and she says to me, H "How are you doing?" And I said, oh, I'm doing really well. And she goes, she said, I'm glad to hear that. And I fixated my brain just like hooked onto it. And I fixated on it for hours. I could not stop thinking about it because it, it's like, it's like a slingshot. It like slinged me back to the loss of, of my job. And I, I, <laughs> I was like, I was just back there. I was back there living in it. And I'm still in that environment, which is a little bit concerning to me. Like I, I, I'm wondering if, if, and I have been spending more time in a different place, which I think has been really good for me and, and getting at least a reprieve from this town. Cause I live in a really small town and what ended up happening a year ago was I, I came basically out of the closet with who I was. And not only did I come out of the closet with who I really was, I, I had, I had blown up. Like I had, I had, I had, I describe it over and over again. It's like those little sponges that you put them in water and they get they expand and then you can't ever put them back into that box again I could never fit in in that box but it it was ultimately me 
and I had also been like really hiding myself because I didn't think I would be well received. And I may have actually manifested the not being received well because I believed I wouldn't be received well. So it's like, did I, did I bring that on? I mean, perhaps I did. But anyway, so I, I'm, I'm sitting there looking about the fact that Saturday night, I'm just completely fixated on this woman and like, like her asking me how I was doing and I, I just, I'm fixated on that. Well, then today I had an amazing day. I go to my candle making job. I got a ton of stuff done this morning. My finances are getting to a point where I'm paying my bills and I'm feeling better and better and better financially. And, and things are just doing really well. And I go to, to my bank to make a payment on my car actually. And there's this some kind of hold on my account and it propels me to the past again. It like completely propels me to this past again. And this time it was worse than Saturday. It was worse than Saturday. Saturday's was mild compared to the one that happened today. And I'm sitting in the car and this is something that I've been doing. I'm sitting in the car and I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm starting to really confront it. I'm looking at, I'm like, what is this? What is this? Like, what is this emotion I'm feeling? It's almost like shame or guilt or I, I'm like, what is this feeling? Like I did something wrong and I actually, I actually didn't. I didn't do something wrong. I mean, I'm perceived as, you know, one of the issues that has been for me has been being just full stop perceived as crazy. She, she's lost it. She, because she, <laughs> she, um, she, this thing about, you know, not believing in death as we know and not believing in time as we know and not believing in that this is the only dimension that there's possibly infinite dimensions and that, and that life is supposed to be fun. I believe life is supposed to be joyful. I don't believe we're here to suffer. I think we've been told we're here to suffer. I, I do not believe in, in the ideas that are put forth and that we are, are living under like this idea um, of I, what keeps coming to mind is like duality. Like this, this against each other, against ideas, like, like cannot both two things be true, seemingly not true, be true at the same time. Two things that are incongruent, can they not be true at the same time? And the fact that everybody is living in their own reality. <laughs> And then I'm not even entirely sure there's like this. I mean, I'm starting to wonder about truth, like even generally about truth. Like, I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't know. The only truth that I know is that I believe that God or the universe, whatever, is a creator of everything that is, that is the actual building blocks of everything that is, that is the clay and the pot all at the same time that we are extensions of that energy. We are all extensions, that there is no separation between the creator and the created. And anyway, so getting back to the topic. <laughs> so I, I've been looking at it and I've been kind of standing up to it. I've been standing up to it. I've been standing up to it and saying, okay, what is this? And I've been looking at it and I've been, I've been feeling it. I haven't been resisting it. I've been feeling it. I've been looking at it and I've been sort of allowing it to just sort of flow, to just kind of flow out of me, to just flow out of me and, and to not, because I, I don't want to be there anymore. I, I want to overcome this. I want to overcome this and live a more, a more steady, joyful life. I really want my life joyful, every aspect of my life abundant and joyful. And so I want to choose joy in every given moment. And, and it's getting better. It's better. It's so much better. And so that's where it's at. I'm, I'm, I'm still having things that are coming up that are, that are, that are basically, I call them triggers. So they're triggering me and I'm being challenged to look at it and, and move past it. But even at the same time, I got like a lot of great stuff. Oh, 
But I wanted to tell you guys really quickly before I go, this thing about the money. And, and even when I was married and I was supposedly financially secure, I still didn't feel good about money. I worried about it all the time. And so it's just got me to wondering, like, like, I, and I was telling my son about this. It's almost as though it's like we'll find another way to worry about it. And so just really coming to, to joy and satisfaction in the given moment about wherever I am financially. And I'm actually getting better and better and better. Things are getting better and better. Like I was able to cover my bills this month, which is amazing. It's just totally amazing. And next month is going to be even better. So anyway, <laughs> all right, you guys, I love you. I'll be back.